Sweden has one of the world's most controversial and closely watched coronavirus strategies. While most countries in Europe implemented near-total lockdowns, closing schools and non-essential businesses, in Sweden people are still free to go about their daily lives. Schools, restaurants and cafes remain open. But has it been worth the risk? Despite the relaxed guidelines, the number of coronavirus-related deaths per million people is far lower in Sweden than here in the locked-down UK. It's even lower than Italy, Spain and France, which have been locked down even longer. It's worth noting Sweden is much earlier in its curve versus other European countries. The death figure could still explode in the coming weeks. This is the man behind the Swedish experiment, the country's state epidemiologist Anders Tegnell. Tegnell believes his approach will achieve herd immunity by exposing those less at risk to the virus and lessening the blow of a severe lockdown. The strategy's been a gamble by Sweden's public health agency. This level of measures that we have in Sweden, there is no problem for us to keep it, keep it running for months. Closing schools, more stringent measures like that, closing borders. You cannot do that for months or years ahead, but uh, what we're doing in Sweden we can continue to do for a long time and I think that's going to prove to be very, very important in the long run. The risk relies on trusting the Swedes to adhere to social distancing measures without being forced to, and so far the country's robust health and care service have been able to cope with the increased pressure. Polling suggests the government's approach was initially popular, but Tegnell is now facing fierce criticism. Even though Sweden's numbers appear good compared to the worst-hit countries in Europe, its approach isn't yet proven to work. Far more people in Sweden are dying than in neighbouring countries like Denmark, Norway and Finland. Most of these implemented lockdowns early to prevent the virus from taking hold. One third of Sweden's deaths have been among the elderly, and critics have accused the country's public health agency of failing to protect those in care homes. In the long run, Sweden's approach to lockdown may prove advantageous for its economy, leaving it in a stronger position to bounce back. Its light touch could result in a relatively smaller economic contraction than the rest of Europe. It's too early to tell if the Swedish model's working and whether its gamble will pay off. The risk is huge and the world is watching.